I tried so hard to like m just see if I could get a whole kit of stuff that's just made in like North America roughly. I think we're most of the way there more or less, but I'm sure something here is probably not whatever. What's up everyone? Today we're doing another gift guide. Uh, this was a fun one to make last year, so I figured why not do one this year? And so we got a few things we're gonna talk about, a few things that you might get someone that you actually like. I don't know if anything is necessarily cheap here. All of it's pretty quality made. Like I said, most of it I think is made in North America, uh, Canada, United States, maybe Mexico, somewhere in that range. The idea is, is that you don't wanna wait on a shipping container to deliver your holiday gift in 2022 because that that misses the point. Okay, first up is the Clocks and Colors Carlos Lang duality collaboration. Um, I have actually been waiting. I thought for certain Carlos would have had a collab with Clocks and Colors by now. He's been probably one of my most favorite YouTubers uh, since uh, I started watching stuff on YouTube about photography, videography, creativity. The ring kind of has this like signet ring look to it. It has the dueling wolves on top, the calm wolf, the aggressive wolf, night and day, one on each side with the root systems of the trees from winter and summer coming together. It's a big thing in Mexico to have like silver jewelry, men, women, whatever. Um, and so I, every time I go back to Mexico, I always want to find something cool uh, and I went on this trip and didn't quite find anything, uh, but as soon as I landed back in the United States, Carlos had dropped this, so that kind of worked out. So if you know someone who's into that kind of thing, um, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty rad. Next, we have the Buck Knife uh, 590 uh, EDC knife. This knife uh, was actually kind of interesting. One of my buddies up here in the great Northwest told me, hey, these Buck Knives guys, they're from San Diego, yo, what's up? Uh, recently relocated up here to the Northwest area, um, like the last 15 years. All their knives, or they make a lot of knives here locally uh, in the United States, and this is one of them. It does have an auto open. I just love the locking mechanism. This is just like, it It kind of like is that fidget thing that you probably shouldn't be playing with because it's really dangerous, but the lock feels so good. You just pull the lock back, slide that, and the knife deploys, so it's very easy for one-handed use if you're out and about, especially with winter coming, if you got gloves on and things like that, it's just nice to have one-handed use. I do believe they also have a version of this knife that doesn't have the auto deploy, so depending on what state you're in, uh, you can still get one of these. Goes together really easy. Um, I don't know what kind of steel this is. They, I know like the different international like grades of steel for like blade retention and like durability and all that stuff. Buck doesn't seem to use that standard. They kind of have their own processes. So we'll see how well this holds up. I've had it for a few weeks. Uh, I've started using it every day. Um, it's holding up. I'm liking it so far. It does feel very premium. Uh, this G10 polymer that they have on the body. Uh, feels good, it feels really durable. So it's probably one of the most durable knives I've ever held. So everything will be linked down in the description below. I think this was in the EDC video uh, that we did just I think a month or two back, but um, I really do like these field notes, notebooks. I usually carry one around with me at all times. I do have people ask me though, like what, what are you writing down in there? Like what could you do? So I wanna read off, there's some practical applications here in the back that um, maybe you did were not aware of. Uh, ninja skills acquired, I think that's an important one if you wanna document that. Um, furies of my recitations, I don't even know what that means. Underbed fears, hopefully you're not filling a whole notebook filled with those things. Dark sky petitions, that sounds kinda weird. Lullaby lyrics, you know, I've wanted to write poetry recently. I've, I've been thinking about that again. It's like when you're a kid in school, they make you write poetry, they make you read poetry, I kinda wanna do that again. I've been getting into naps too. I'm just, I'm regressing to being a five-year-old again. It's great. Do you need your milk? Yeah, milk sounds good again. It, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, but yeah, I just love having the Field Notes notebook because uh, it's just a way to like not be on my phone, take notes, just uh, think about things, you know? So would highly recommend this if you uh, haven't gotten into this already. I think it's a good gift too. They have different styles and colors. I prefer the pitch black. I will get it on time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's made in the USA, so you'll probably get it if you order it. Isn't that great? That's a, what a concept. What a concept. And then we have some playing cards. I, you guys probably have already heard of Theory 11 at this point, but um, these decks of cards are just really awesome. I have this one here, which is kind of made 
uh, to celebrate uh, stuff made in the United States. This deck is called Union. Uh, fun story, that's also the coffee shop that we've done some stuff with recently, which is kind of fun. So, uh, Up there, drinking it right now. Sam's got the coffee right now in hand. Oh, Union. <laughs> it has know. to be pronounced just like that, doesn't it? <laughs> The decks are like really artful and just really like visually stunning, compelling. Of course, it's got the bird that Ben Franklin wishes was the uh, the bird of the United States, which is the turkey. I think I find that hilarious. Um, but they got a ton of different decks that you can get over at Theory 11. Uh, this Union one is great. I gotta drop this because my buddy Ben said I needed to give him a shout out. So Ben, you are getting the 007 deck for your birthday this month. Uh, because uh, Ben's been one of my longtime friends and he always dogs me on these YouTube videos. So uh, Ben, you're getting this. If you guys think I should do a giveaway where maybe we give away some of these, uh, leave that down in the comments below and just maybe we'll hand out a few of these Theory 11 decks. That'd be kind of fun, don't you think, Sam? Sure. Do you want a deck? If we, if we can play a couple games together. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Let's share a deck. One of the other cool things about Theory 11 is if you buy a deck from them, I believe there are some free card tricks that they can teach you. I don't know how to do any of those. I barely know how to play cards, but I still have a good time doing it. Still enjoy the like family friendly fun something. <laughs> but if you're if you're into cardistry or you want to get into cardistry, Theory 11 also has some cool videos that can go along with some of the cards and I think that's kind of cool too. So if you want to give a gift to someone who's maybe into that kind of thing, you can give them the deck along with like a link to one of the cardistry tricks that Theory 11 has on their site. That's a pretty good gift, I think. That's pretty good. And then finally, we're going to talk about this tray that we've uh, been pulling these items off of, so I should probably actually get stuff off of them. Um, I want that. Sam wants this. Sam. <laughs> this uh, tray is made by Little King Goods. It is in walnut with a black leather. It's called the Armory. It is uh, honestly like when I first saw that Ryan over at Little King Goods was putting together this, I think I waited for the drop. Like as soon as it was released, I was probably one of the first people to buy it. Um, I want to say there's still unlimited production. He may still have some in stock. Um, but wow, this thing is like probably one of the nicest things I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> it's a block of wood with some leather, but it's, it's really that well made. It's just nice to have some of that organization where you kind of do your pocket dump at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day when you're kind of getting ready just to know that, okay, yep, the phone, wallet, keys, uh, maybe some extra things like knife, challenge, coin, whatever it is. It's all right here. This actually sits up on my dresser. And so then that way I just, I don't miss anything. I don't misplace anything anymore. So if you have someone in your life that's been misplacing a lot of keys, misplaces their phone, you know, maybe it's like, hey, you get them a little space where they can all live. And then, uh, you know, it's it's not an issue anymore. Stuff goes back to where it lives and, and you know where to find it. I genuinely really enjoy this thing because it just, it looks really good. It cleans up my space a little bit and uh, it just makes my life a little bit easier. So, uh, but I think this would be a really good gift for honestly, like anyone who digs walnut, this kind of vibe aesthetic, uh, it's a good look. And like I said, made in America. It's not something that you're gonna find out at like a department store that everyone's gonna have. It's still kind of unique. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Sam even wants it, which that tells you something because Sam's got good taste. Wood and leather, man. Give me all of it. That's all I need. <laughs> bonus tip. Bonus tip. Um, bonus item? Bonus thing? Bonus gift? Bonus item, thing, gift. Um, I gen generally hate getting clothing as gifts, but I would say uh, this has been like my new favorite thing that I just love wearing around the house. This is uh, Raining Champs. I believe it's the medium terry weight uh, cotton crew neck pullover sweater. I actually don't even like pullover sweaters, usually. I'm more of like a zip up hoodie kind of guy, but this thing is so comfortable and it's made in Canada, which is great. Because I'm in the Northwest of the United States, anytime I order stuff from them, I feel like it comes in like 24 hours, maybe 48 hours max. Um, they're doing God's work up there in British Columbia because it's like, awesome clothes that are made locally. Uh, shipping's pretty easy if you're on the west side of the United States. Uh, probably get it pretty quick too as well if you're anywhere in 
the North American region, but uh, I gotta say, this thing's well stitched. It looks good, the fit's really nice. Uh, it's not too tight, but not too relaxed. It's kind of perfectly in between with some shape to it still. Uh, and it's really soft, it's really comfortable. It's held up through a couple washes already. Uh, I think if you are looking for something special to get someone that is like a nice, cozy, winter, bundly, warm clothing vibe, uh, Raining Champ, they seem to be the go-to. I've been getting actually a couple shirts from them recently too, and they may have my most favorite black tee of all time as well, but that's gonna have to be another video. None of the gifts in this gift guide were sponsored. Uh, this is all stuff that I actually like and enjoy, that my friends and I, we all like and enjoy and think are quality and awesome. So uh, you guys don't have to worry about like how much are they paying Steven to talk about any of this stuff. This is just good stuff. Uh, it's stuff that I would appreciate being given as a gift uh, it's stuff that I wouldn't mind giving as a gift, like I said about the uh, Theory 11 decks. Yeah, with that, I should probably do the outro, huh? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Sam, <laughs> Sam's taking... Do the outro. Every time I make a video of Sam, he ends up just stealing something from me. I think he's got my axe, too. No, <laughs> I would like your axe. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Steven Foster. Subscribe to this channel if you have yet to, and I'm really, I'm stoked and thankful. I have so much gratitude for all of y'all who already have subscribed to this channel. Thank you so much. Be kind both in life and in the comments below, and like this video to send good vibes across the internet. Uh, what a year. Made a lot of good stuff this year. Sam, do you have anything else you want to say? That's to where you put your logo. Put your logo <laughs> and your music. <laughs> and we'll do it again soon. Later. Woo! That's it.